The Guardian News. Postcards to ban in the campaign to send missives to the real U.S. president. Who's really calling the shots at the White House President Trump or Chief Strategist Steve Bannon? That's the question that has been circulating on social media over the past week and a half about the still-fledgling Trump presidency. Now, a new campaign has people sending postcards addressed to President Bannon and sharing them on social media using the hashtag number postcards to Bannon. It began when at Cordell suggested a letter-writing campaign targeted at President Bannon. Justin Hendricks then kick-started the hashtag number postcards to Bannon. Now, hundreds of others have joined in, some sending multiple postcards. Hendricks said, people are having fun with it it's not the most serious protest. But what is serious is that the former publisher of a hate site that has embraced the alt-right and talked openly of destroying American institutions is pulling the strings in the Oval Office. Bannon was executive chair of Breitbart News, which he described as the platform of the alt-right. He has also been widely quoted as describing himself as a Leninist. He wanted to destroy the state and that's my goal too. Hendricks said of his postcard campaign, People are creative I've seen people post photos of handmade cards, for instance. One lady made 30 of them in one night. I think it's cathartic. One account, at Note 2 Press Bannon, has also got behind the campaign. The person who runs it, who wishes to remain anonymous, said they began writing the postcards on their own out of frustration before joining with others sharing their missives on the internet. I'm a D.C. resident so I haven't been able to partake in a lot of the actions of calling my representatives because I don't have any, they said. Plus, my biggest beef has been with Bannon, who no one has a say about. I felt using humor and a snarky tone took away power from Bannon. I made the account after a few friends expressed interest and I realized this could catch on. One of my friends told me recently that resisting should be fun, and writing the postcards is a blast. The hashtag number President Bannon has become more popular recently, as commentators suggest it is Trump's chief strategist who is pulling the strings. Time magazine featured him on their cover, dubbing him the great manipulator. There's a possibility these reports have angered President Trump. On Monday, he tweeted. Meanwhile, press secretary Sean Spicer told reporters about Trump, he's the one who develops the policy he's the one who makes the decisions, and I think there are so many times when you see things that don't recognize that he is the guy that calls the shots. But in an article on divisions within the still new White House team, the New York Times reported that Trump was not fully briefed when signing the executive order that put Bannon on the National Security Council.